It almost doesn't matter how good this new cat is. The old one was loved so much by well-groomed boys and nice-smelling girls, all it needs to do is offer more of the same and we'll all be happy. You see, back in 1996, when the charts were full of zig zig ah and girl power, the car showed people exactly what a city car should be. Cheap, good to look at, fun to ride. Like the Spice Girls, some have said at some point. It wrote the rule book so well that the car Mark II needs to copy it religiously, but with the added sophistication of over a decade's progress. Basically, this needs to be like the Pussycat Dolls. More grown up than the Spice Girls, but with just as much wriggling and winking. Looks wise, the Cat 2 shares a lot with the bigger Fiesta. That's not quite such a bad thing because the Fiesta's a slinky little cat. But I wish it didn't ape its big sister quite so much. Welcome to Johnny's world famous technical teaser. Behind me, we've got a Ford Cat and a Ford Fiesta, but you have to decide which one's which. You've got 10 seconds. 3, 2, 1, go. And the new Ford Cat is that one. But you didn't know that. And neither did I. Is, is it? Yeah! That's not how the car makes me feel. It doesn't make me as excited as I should be. The original cab was just so different and cutting edge, and that's what made it so cool. It looked like a, a little tea cosy on wheels. And it was the equivalent of the Pied Piper for sexy women. This cow would blow its whistle and the women would flock from all around and just buy it. So you'd always get a hot chick in a cat. But I don't think those hot chicks are going to buy this second generation cat. This is a bit late to the party, because you've got stuff like the Fiat 500, which this is based on, the Renault Twingo, all of those types of cars. It's just not different enough. And to make it even less sexy, you can now get the cat with a diesel engine, which will give a combined MPG rating of over 67. But you'll need to shell out 10 grand for one, compared to 8 grand for the petrol. One thing Ford have done is they've taken the Fiat 500 platform and they've tightened it up just that little bit. The steering feels more accurate, the road holding manners are slightly better. You're not going to notice them driving around a city necessarily, but they are that little bit better. Problem is, the Car Mark II feels lazily put together to me. It doesn't feel like it's cutting edge of design. The competition is better, and the car that this is based on is better, and is already out, and is about that much more expensive. The car's got the edge when it comes to the driving experience, but in terms of looks and just oozing sexuality, the Fiat 500, straight away. Climb inside the cat and you can immediately see that the dash structure is the same as the Fiat 500. All the switches in the same place, gear stick, same centre console as the Fiat 500. It's just that it doesn't have that feel of desirability like the 500. Yeah, you've got a, you've got a shiny car badge here to remind you what car you're driving. But remember the original car had this huge, amazingly quirky swooping dash and that's all just gone. And that was like no other car. The original Ford Cat was a leader of fashion, not a follower. This second generation car, however, is basically a Fiat that's been reclothed in Fiesta garments. OK, it's £205 less than the equivalent Fiat, and for that you get a bit more boot space and slightly sharper road manners. But the fact remains, it's just not got that sheer desirability and Italian flair that the retro Fiat has. 